Did you know that you can create beautiful animated map in Keynote? Let me show you how. So we're going to create something like this. First zoom in and then nice line animating like this. It's really easy to make something like that in Keynote and we can also export that as the video. So here is a blank Keynote slideshow. I'm going to change the background color, blue. All right, let's insert a shape. So Keynote got some built-in maps here. So I will use that for this demonstration. Go to places and here we go. We got some vector maps, simple maps. All right, so I will pick the, this one. Here it is, we can scale it up. This is vector, so we will not lose quality when we're scaling up and down. That's very good. Now we can change the fill color as well. We can use gradient or we can use solid color. All right. Green color, blue water for background. All right. Let's add shadow. So I'm going to add classic shadow here. But instead of dark color, I want bright color. I want light blue. So instead of getting dark shadow, we go add something more like glow around the continents, around land. All right. So light blue around the shape. I use the shadow feature to do that. All right, so here's my very basic outline, my little map. I can scale it up now. You can reposition your map just like this. So I want to have like over, overview in the first slide and then zoom in on the other slide. So I will make a copy of this first slide. So right click on it and duplicate and on the second slide i will make this even bigger so it will be like zooming in some part of the map i will add the smooth animation between slide number one and two later on but first let's do the map all right I scale it up so we got like zoom in effect now. You don't need to worry about the quality. This is vector shape. It will always maintain the quality. It will be always sharp. All right. Now it's time to add arrow by using pen tool. Pen tool will allow you to draw any line. Click to make a point or click and hold to make a curvy line between points. So you can make straight lines or curvy lines. Take a look. I'm going to start. I click here and then I'm going to click and hold and click again to finish the guess. Click and hold to make the line curvy. If you just click one time, it will make the straight line. But if you click and hold, you will make the line curvy. This way you can draw a custom line on your map. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you can go back later and move some points, adjust points. I'm going to do it as well. I will show you how to do it. It's really easy, but let's finish this first. Maybe this will be like the final destination. All right, something like that will do. Hit escape if you want to finish with your line. And here it is. Now I can click on my line and I can see points and I can even see the red control points to change the curve of the line. So I can change both 
position of the point and also curve of the line. That's really powerful. We can edit that any moment we need. So you see that? I'm modifying the line that I already draw. That's a good thing. I mean, you don't need to be perfect in the first try. Later on, you can fix that. All right, let's change the style of the line. We can also change the color, thickness of the line. All options are here. And very important, we will add arrowhead as well. So we need to end the line with arrowhead. We can do it over here. We can add arrowhead and we can even add some kind of circle or square for the beginning of the line over here. Like this. All right. So we got line already. Now it's time to animate it. So let's switch to animation panel, built in animation, add effect. And there is a special one, line draw. This is the special one we can apply on lines. You see it? It's really nice, but it's quite fast. So we will modify duration of the animation. We want this to be slower. All right, let's test it out. Yeah, nice. So we got this custom animated line on our map. One thing that we need to do now is to create the smooth transition between slide number one and slide number two. So it will like zoom in. To do that, I'm using magic transition, magic move. Actually, it should be here on slide number one. All right, like this magic move. So it will smooth the transformation that I made. Let's try it out. Play, first click, it will zoom in. Second click, it will draw the line. All right, so it's worked great inside Keynote. Can we export this as MP4? Yes, we can. We can export this as MP4 and use in our video editor as the part of our video. So let's do this. File. Export to and we can select movie. We could also animate the GIF as an option here. I don't want movie that I can edit later on in the video editor. As you can see, you can select the size, frame rate, all options are here. You can even export as 4K. I tested out. All right, in this case, 1080p. Next, you need to select a destination location for your movie and then export. You need to wait a moment. It needs to capture all frames, so it will take a moment. It will take a moment. All right, almost there. Let me show you the movie I was able to export in QuickTime. And here it is, my MP4 video. First sequence, zoom in. And the second sequence with my arrow drawing the line. Perfect intro for like travel videos and stuff like that. I really like how easy it is to create this kind of effect in Apple Keynote. All right, guys, if you like this video, you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one.